Hello and welcome to this video lecture series on microwave tubes. In last few lectures, we have discussed in details about the operation and analysis of two cavity equation on amplifier including equation for velocity modulation bunching process and then we have obtained expressions for output power efficiency mutual conductance and voltage gain now in this video lecture we will see the multi cavity klistron amplifier so first let us talk about the need of this multi cavity klistron amplifier why do we need this because power gain of two cavity klistron amplifier is typically about 30 dB. So whenever we have a requirement of higher overall gain, we can cascade several two cavity tubes and obtain the higher gain. So the output of first cavity in uh, output of first cavity will act as input of second cavity. Similarly, output of second cavity will act as input of third and so on. So what are the constructional details of multi-cavity klistron amplifier? It is more or less similar to that of two cavity. The only difference is that we have added two more cavities to the tube and focusing magnet coils are kept at the top and bottom for the focusing purpose and we have a cooler to maintain the temperature inside the tube since there would be very high output power would be generated from this particular four cavity klistron amplifier so how this tube operates is that again it operates on the principle of velocity modulation electrons would be generated from cathode they will travel with some velocity v0 once they enter the first cavity because of the presence of rf signal some electrons will accelerate their velocity some of them will decelerate their velocity and result of that there is the bunch of electrons out of means when they come out of this buncher cavity the bunch of electrons would be formed we have discussed in detail about the bunching process if you are interested you can just go back and see our video on the bunching process then this effective bunching will keep on improving as the output of first cavity will act as input of second and when it travels along the length of the tube this bunching process would be improved further and dense cluster of electrons will be formed when they reach to the final output cavity so high amount of current would be induced into the output structure and result of that very high output voltage would be generated from this multi cavity restaurant amplifier so there are various applications for this multi cavity klistron amplifier they may be used in the uh, tv transmitters as output tubes or even in satellite earth stations as a, in inside the transmitters as a power amplifiers so there is the concept of, called as uh, stagger tuning which is used for bandwidth improvement so we'll discuss about this what is a stagger tuning if all these cavities are being designed at the same design frequency so it would result into higher gain but for very narrow band operation if we wanted to improve the bandwidth performance what we can do all these cavities can be designed at bit different frequency let us say the first cavity is designed at 1.1 gigahertz second would be designed at 1.2 gigahertz third would be designed at 1.3 and the fourth would be designed at 1.4 so that way by designing at little different frequencies just i have given example that may not be the uh, actual case it depends on application so all these cavities can be designed at little different frequencies in spite of designing all of them at the same frequency that would result into little improved bandwidth response so this is something like that if we have frequency versus 
gain response and if you have designed all these cavities at same frequency we have response something like this but if you design first stage at frequency design frequency f1 second at let us say some other frequency f2 third cavity at some other frequency f3 and fourth one is some other frequency f4 it is not the case that the design frequencies are differ in this particular fashion i have just exaggerated the things to demonstrate you about how we can design the different cavities stages at different design frequencies and if you combine all of them together no doubt your gain would be higher but also you can have the little wider bandwidth in comparison to earlier response but no doubt there is some compromise in the gain response so this concept of designing different cavities at little different frequencies little different design frequencies is called as stagger tuning and this approach is generally used for uhf tv transmitter output tubes or the piston tubes which we use for tv transmitters so this is what about the multi cavity piston amplifier we are not explaining the details about the velocity modulation bunching process optimum distance and all because we have discussed it for two cavity piston amplifier and most of the discussion is applicable to this multi cavity piston tube thank you